Hello everyone, Nick of Pray back here again. We're back with another edition of Snacks Britannica, the series in which I review snacks and drinks from Britain and its former Domin Dominion colonies. Pardon me for that. Now, you might have noticed that like with the old Umami AF series, I try to keep it to Western, like brands, I shouldn't say Western because that's part of the West. Um, I try to keep it to brands that we have here in the states but also you might have noticed that there's brands and products that are big over there that i'm curious to try like you know bar is a prominent british beverage company and today and you know, they don't have that here of course and today we are going to be trying sparletta cream soda from south africa now, Sparletta is, of course, a product of the Coca-Cola company, and Coca-Cola is uh, everywhere. It's American, but it's everywhere. Um, if you notice, it's kind of hard to tell here uh, with the big Sparletta um, logo on the front, but this is supposed to be a hippo. All of the Sparletta drinks in South Africa have a uh, animal on the can, and this one, of course, is a hippo. I believe there's a giraffe and uh i don't want to say it's either a rhino or an elephant that's something i probably should have researched before i made this video but i didn't because you know it's just i just was thirsty and i wanted to do a video and i wanted something to drink so it was just two birds with one stone and actually i was supposed to review this with a, a couple friends of mine but yeah you know, i've had this since what january now february something at least at least two or three months and the time just hasn't been right but it's not like i can't order more i ordered it online I mean, it got here like in a week, so it's not like I can't just like, oh, hey, you know, I'll have some here, you know, in 10 days or something for us to drink. Anyway, so look at the can here, and uh, it's got a very nice green color, which I guess is because the beverage is green. I've never, I have not had it yet. I've only seen it in review videos and talked about in uh, JJ McCullough's video about cream soda, which is in video, it's actually a good video. Maybe I'll link that in the comment below. You see, it's a low, uh, you know, I I looked it up on here when I did this one. I forgot how you say that. Oh, kilojoule. It's kilojoule, I believe. Energy drink. Or soft drink, not energy drink. I wish it was an energy drink. Um, of course, they slap the label on it for U.S. UD, um, nutritional information. So I don't even know what the back. It's kind of, well, I can't peel it off. But anyway, yeah, this is like a big thing over there in South Africa, so it's why I wanted to try it, because I like trying, it's my way of doing anthropology through food and beverages, because, you know, maybe, you know, uh, in Korea, they have a fruit-flavored soda that they're really into, because in their culture, they believe that, you know, 400 years ago, that that fruit, or that berry, or that spice, or that seed, or whatever was good for you know if you were in labor or if you had heartburn or whatever so that kind of stuff always intrigues me and it's a good reference point to what like people ate and what natural resources were around um you know chef andrew zimmern who i have met and hugged before um had a quote something along the lines of if you want to learn about people's cultures eat their food and i, I kind of agree with that i kind of agree with that uh, so let's just give this the old heave ho, shall we? All right, we see the glass. We see the glass. You know, it is definitely green. Definitely green. Now, I've from what I've read about it and seen about it in videos is that uh, oh, I, I think this is flat. Is that it has either. Some have said it has a very iron brew taste, which you remember from my Haggis and Iron Brew video, that, that kind of like a bubblegum creamy flavor. I've heard it has a very floral flavor, and that it might also, some also have said that it has a fruit flavor to it. So let's just give it a go. It's definitely flat. And there is... Hmm... It kind of has all three of those things in it. Okay. 
them. So it definitely has that American cream soda flavor. <clears throat> I shouldn't say American, I generic. Actually, just that you can tell it's a cream soda, first and foremost. It does have iron, it does taste like iron brew. There is a slight, slight, slight floral taste to it. And there is some sort of fruit in there. That actually all three of those people who each tasted something different all kind of had like we're all spot on. Hmm. I can't I can't identify the fruit in that. I'd say the biggest flavor you have is that it does that iron brew like that bubblegum kind of like <laughs> flavor to it and then like the fruit and the floral are very like negated down and very like minimal in the back after you're like drinking it like, like, almost like an aftertaste for sure it is very good and i do like it i just wish it wasn't flat but you know it's who knows like with the moldy candy i got from australia who knows how long it was in South Africa. Who knows how long it sat in the warehouse when I got here. Yeah, see, product of uh, Coca-Cola. Coca and who knows how long... Yeah, who knows how long it sat in the warehouse when I ordered it. How long it had been there. And who knows how long it had been... Well, I know how long it's been here. So, stuff like that, I try to not blame the companies for that now if i'm ordering it straight from the country it's origin from then i get kind of annoyed because i got that mountain dew ultraviolet ones and that came back <clears throat> that was flat and i was like man something like this it's coming from the home country to a store or warehouse here in the states and then it's shipped from there to here so that there's a lot of legwork there and there's a lot more opportunity for it to get shaken up and like this stuff all came like plastic wrap and bubble wrap so i know they it wasn't like negligence on their end it just happens with travel and like i said we don't know how long it's been sitting around i don't think there's a bet used by date right No. I mean, unless, unless it's like under under here. But uh, yeah, no, that's pretty good. I like that a lot. South Africa is one of those countries that I've really been as my uh, Anglophilia and like yearning to learn more about different cultures. And I mean, I... You know, because I, I do the British thing and, like, the Dominion colonies, like Canada and all that, a lot of people think it might come off the wrong way because there's a certain type of people who are into, like, fantasizing about the old days of when these settler colonies had a majority of a certain people ruling over a certain minority of peoples. And for the record, that's not what this is. I'm just very intrigued by, you know... A lot of cultures. I mean, I like, I, I watch Andrew Zimmer when he goes anywhere, or Bredain when he goes anywhere, Europe, Africa, uh, Asia, I don't, I mean, whatever. I, I like just, I could eat food from anywhere, cultures from anywhere, theology, different religions from anywhere. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. I'm all about that. You could send me a book about <coughs> um, the native languages and people of uh, Belize or, uh, or somewhere in Africa or, you know, Southeast Asia or whatever, Nepal, I, I'd be down for it. I'd eat the food, I'd read the books, I'd watch the documentaries, I don't care. But because of my uh, Anglophilia, which is of course a love of British culture and history, um, these sort of British colonies sort of get risen to the top. But of course, you know, I did a whole series where I did Japanese uh, drinks and Japan has never been white or a British colony. So, you know. But anyway, uh, 
But yeah, South Africa is an interesting history of how it developed under the British and all that. So it's I did finish reading uh, Maximum Canada by Doug Saunders. Very good book. We'll definitely do a video on that at some point. It's definitely in the queue for me. Um, I actually have a lot of books in queue I do want to read and review. Uh, so I've been, read, I've been vaguely... I had more time to read before, but life's just kind of come fast with sports and stuff coming up in personal life. But, um, yeah, so I could do a read a book about South Africa too. It's, it's interesting. It's very beautiful. It's, I've seen it's a very beautiful country and it is unfortunate about apartheid and all that that happened. But, you know, that's just, it's, you can't, I, nothing I can do about that. Just, you know, know that it's wrong and try to prevent that kind of stuff from happening again. But, yeah, South Africa is very beautiful. I'd love to go to Cape Town and Johannesburg and uh, Pejoria and all that. But I'm rambling. So, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Click that bell and I will see you next week.